we finally did it we finally got the final apex legends heirloom shards to get all six and we're gonna rate them in this video let's do it welcome back warriors to my channel guys today i have an apex legends video for you and we are going to be ranking all six apex legends heirlooms in this video i got a couple different ways i want to break this down we did just unlock our final and last heirloom which is octanes we got the last set of heirloom shards so we're going to be raking all six in this video so let's jump right into it all right so the way i want to kind of break these heirlooms down is that we got all six finally octane was being our last one like we just said guys but i wanted to break them down using like kind of a set of criteria kind of like what we do for our apex legends tier list videos so the way i kind of want to break these down is by three different things okay one is going to be the looks of the heirloom two is going to be the animation of the heirlooms and then three and finally is going to be does the heirloom go with that legend okay and then all of this combined with my opinion guys is going to be how i'm going to rank all six of these uh heirlooms i think this is going to be a really fun video again just a quick disclaimer guys this is all you know my opinion and stuff you know if you like something more than another just be positive about it down in the comments okay so let's jump right into it all right guys coming in at number six you might have guessed it is mirage okay mirage's heirloom comes in at number six for me as you guys probably guessed it from my tier list videos i really have an agenda against this guy um i really hate how people just put him so far like he's just so, so good and everything but He's honestly just not, okay? But anyway, moving on to his heirloom. His heirloom in the looks department looks pretty cool. It's just like a Oscar award winning trophy. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, this is just great. Um, Mom's gonna love I wish this. my guys would stop inviting me. I'm recording a YouTube video for God's sakes. Uh, the looks were really cool. Probably three out of five stars for me guys as far as the looks. Now, as far as going with the legend, I don't think out of all six <laughs> heirlooms, this nothing be goes better with a legend than mirage's trophy it's literally him you can't get any closer to that so five out of five stars for that now the animation in here i wish it was a little bit better just pulling on the screen and examining it for him to just voice us is, oh, this is just i thought they would Mom, do more with it uh since it's mirage but you really don't get anything and then when you you know you're doing your start to run animation all you do is just a little pirouette mirage is pirouetting which go i mean it goes with him but his animation, in my opinion, gets like a three out of five stars, guys. So it's Mirage coming in at number six. All right, guys, coming in at number five is Octane. The very last heirloom that we got in Apex Legends. Octane just, you know, he's he's a really cool legend, and his heirloom is not bad. But it, he was just, out of all the ones, it just, I, I wanted to get this one last, you know? So going at the looks department, a butterfly knife, it suits, it really suits him. He's so freaking crazy. And a butterfly knife is just as crazy. So as far as suiting him, it, it fits really, really good. Um, the the way it looks is actually really cool, you know. So it looks cool. It's got the kind of like an ooze, kind of like some vein stuff. And he sticks it in him. And he's got, you know, a thing of ooze inside of the butterfly knife, which is I think is just awesome. I think that's a very inventive way to have Octane's heirloom instead of just, you know, a syringe to the forehead. Now, as the animation, guys, this thing is amazing. The animation is actually really cool when you go all the way through it. Him going through the entire thing is is really, really sweet. You know, he really knows how to use the butterfly knife. Reminds me of back in the day. Look at all that. Look at that. Flicking it, spinning it. That's crazy. And then when, when you get between, like, you're starting to run, he does the little flip. And then as you're running, it's like he's, he's on a death stab for it. Like, he's going to kill somebody. But... The flick in the animation between stopping and running is actually really, really cool. So, Octane, number five. Coming in at number four, guys, is Pathfinder, your favorite robot in the game. Pathfinder's gloves, okay? This was the second-to-last heirloom, heirloom that I unlocked, okay? So, when it comes to Pathfinder, the looks on the punching gloves are actually really cool. At first, I thought that they, you know, was going to be a little bit... You know, they wouldn't look as cool as some of the other ones, but when you factor in all the animations that this thing has, you know, these gloves have, and then it pops open like, you know, rock and sock and robots. When it comes to that, I think it's really, really cool, the animation that you have with the gloves. You know, it's kind of like that real steel feel, right? Okay, so when it comes to that, you know, it gets like a three out of five stars, if you had to judge it that way. All right, now, when it comes to um, the animation, guys, the animation is actually really cool. All the lights... 
all the, the punching, right? He fends off a, a scarecrow or a bird or a raven, whatever it is that keeps trying to kill him. I'm not really sure. I think it's ravens. But the animation for that is really cool with the knockout. It fits in perfectly. And then uh, as far as running, this is where, like, the animation part kind of dips off. You know, the run is just him literally just rotating his right glove and, like, just going like he's going to guard with his left hand. It, it's just not that pleasing. Like, you just don't get anything. After you slide jump, you get a little, like, one-two combo. But after that, there's not really a whole lot to it. So when it comes to, like, this part of the animation, it's definitely, like, a one out of five stars for that. But overall, animation is, like, a three out of five stars, guys. It's not too bad. Now, where the one out of five stars comes for Pathfinder is, honestly, it's tough to... I think the devs had a real tough time figuring out what they're going to give Pathfinder, right? You know, what they're going to give him. What suits a very friendly robot, right? Early on, they gave him the quip, which is like all the knockout stuff, which I guess punching gloves really suits that like theme. But is that really Pathfinder, you know? So I think it was kind of like a small gimmick that they went off of, kind of like a friendly you know banter thing as far as knocking people out so as far as going with the legend that's probably the lowest star i would give out of pathfinder's gloves but one or two stars out of that but overall pathfinder's gloves are actually really really cool all right guys coming in at number three is lifeline i actually really like lifeline's heirloom the you know the like the sticks which are kind of like a combination between hubaton sticks and like you know hit clear let me revive somebody is really really cool i think i think that fits her really good her whole drum theme as far as her background of the character i think these these sticks really fit lifeline i think they're amazing the way they look are really really cool um the animation though is just kind of okay you know the spin stuff is pretty cool it's like she's in a marching band she's checking stuff out you know, she does her little clap clap. I think it would have been a lot better if she did some more stuff combined with her heritage. The more of the drum line kind of thing, which I thought was pretty cool. Or cater it to more like reviving somebody. I thought that animation, something like that would be pretty sick. Um, the second part when you're running, guys, is is not bad. You know, she crosses them up, uncrosses them like you would in like a drum band. So maybe she played in her high school marching band i don't know who knows dude does apex legend characters even have that i'm not sure but the the run animation for her stuff is really cool so as far as the animation i'd give it like a three out of five stars if you had to guess this it's pretty cool towards the back end but obviously if you're in a game you're really not going to see that so maybe two stars even um now the looks four stars guys like these these sticks just look really cool they're decorated and catered right to lifeline it shows all her skill and her heritage on them i think it's really really neat now as far as do they go with her absolutely 100 percent. she has that 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 vibe you can tell that she knows what she's doing it's got the medical vibe she has her little drum banter on it so five out of five stars for going with lifeline so that's number three it was not coming time, in but... at number two is my favorite legend so far of season six, mainly because of the buffs, is Blood Hound. Blood Hound is honestly a really good legend. And if you want to talk about, we're going to start off right away, like the heirloom going with the legend. Besides Mirage, nothing gets closer than the axe, which as you guys saw in her, you know, backstory history video is just, it goes with the beast of the hunt. You get this axe for completing all the tasks to become the ultimate beast of the hunt for your tribe so as far as going with a legend probably nothing gets better than this this and mirage are have the absolute best all right now as far as looks guys the axe actually looks really cool the animated blood and just like almost like it has an energy to it you know like it's almost like an energy blade kind of like some stuff from star wars man like the energy part of the blade is really, really cool. I wish it would have some like electricity to it and have it shine just a little bit more. But they 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 highlight it very, very well. Um, the whole backside of the raven, which highlights her tribe's kind of like animal, so to speak. And what they use to help track is amazing. I think it just looks like it's a very, very clean heirloom. Now, the animation, as you guys are seeing right now, guys, the whole petting the raven and just going through it is just, it's okay, man. It's just kind of like inspecting it like you just received it. You just finished your your quest. You get this. You get honored by your tribe. And 
now you're just kind of checking everything out on it so i think i think if you look at that that look at the heirloom that way it really adds some value but as far as like you know aesthetically pleasing it just doesn't do a whole lot when you're just looking at it you know um as you're running the flicking of the axe is really really cool winding it up is actually pretty neat um between stopping to run or slide jumping to like guard and then like get back until you're gonna fight so i think that part of the animation is really really cool but overall at coming in at number two the bloodhound axe is just absolutely clean and amazing now for the right choice coming in at number one guys you probably already knew this from the thumbnail of the video guys is wraith wraith had the very first heirloom in the game for those of you new players who that did not know wraith had the very first heirloom you had to get 500 packs to unlock your very first heirloom and this was guaranteed so you were guaranteed to get this heirloom okay now looks nothing the kinetic energy on top of the blade is insane the design of the kunai knife is absolutely flawless four out of five stars for this guys when you're animating it just look at the detail that's put into the kunai knife right you could tell it's from the future it has some old school feel to it as far as the engineering aspect of it but overall the looks of the kunai knife four out of five stars now let's talk about the animation the animation as you can see right here guys is just not not a whole lot just doesn't do a whole lot man you're just kind of looking at it right you know you're just kind of looking at it if we take it back out right you're just you're just chilling doesn't really do a whole lot you know it's it's not necessarily that great as far as that part of the animation now when you talk about when you first pull it out and then when you're running and slide jumping you know just flicking it through like this you feel like a god dang ninja okay and what better feeling it than it is to be feeling like a ninja in a video game let's be honest okay so that part of the animation really really good now let's talk about does this go with wraith okay wraith is a dimensional rift legend okay she runs like a ninja she acts like a ninja she has the disappearing acts like a ninja so why not have a ku knife the highlighted weapon of a ninja okay just watch no roto i know what i'm talking about naruto i know what i'm talking about so when it comes to going with the legend i think 100 it does it fits her perfectly she's very very agile and fast and that fits the kunai knife but is also very powerful when it deals damage so i think the kunai knife perfectly goes with wraith and overall you know four out of five five out of five stars whatever you want to call it five out of five stars for wraith all right guys thank you so much for watching today's video i just finally got all six heirlooms it took us a long time to get all six obviously without buying a crap ton of packs and putting in money that way so uh we participated in the events we passed up on a few of them um just for the same money purpose reasons but we finally got all six by just leveling up and unlocking the packs so thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy it let me know down in the comments guys where do you rank these heirlooms what is your favorite heirloom out of all six and I, hopefully we can't wait to find out what the next one's going to be let me know down in the comments what your favorite heirloom is if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to hit that thumbs up button appreciate all the likes that really does help me out if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe and join the warriors guys so you can see cool videos like this and see all our tips and tricks to help you improve your apex legends gameplay and as for me warlog as always guys stay gaming and i'll catch you in the next one peace Come on.